Hello learner, welcome to our class 6 mathematics lesson. Our lesson today is going to be numbers and the subtopic of the day is going to be rounding off. So get your pen and your book and let's do mathematics. I'm your teacher Kevin Mohair. Rounding off. When we talk about rounding off, we have a number. A number is made up of what we call digits. Digits make a number. We have a whole number and we have a decimal. We have a whole number. and a decimal. When we talk about a whole number, a whole number, let's say for example, three, four, five. This is a number. After that, we can have three point four five. This is a decimal. This is a whole number and this is what we call a decimal. We want to round off these numbers. Therefore, we are going to start with the whole number. When we talk about rounding off of whole numbers, we have this statement here. When rounding off, we use the previous place value. I repeat, when rounding off, we use the previous place value. What does that mean? When we talk about place value, remember we are using this as our, ex uh, our example. This number, this whole number, it has different digits, therefore different place values. To find the place value, you learned in the previous lesson that you always start with the digit on the far right hand. What does that mean? If the question is facing me this way, therefore the digit on the far right is going to be digit five. Very good. We are talking about whole numbers. And digit 5 here is going to be place value once. Very good. The next digit to the left of that digit is going to be place value tens. Very good. And the next digit is going to be hundreds. Very good. This is whole numbers. And if you look at this, you find that at the end of it, we add the sound S. This S, one, s, ten, s, hundred, s, the S sound on the whole number. Let's come to decimals. When you talk about decimals as well, we, run, we have the place value of decimals. But you must remember the decimal point acts as a focus point, meaning it separates the number into two. The decimal points separates the number into two, meaning there is going to be this part here on the whole number. And on the other side is where we have the decimal. This is the whole number, the decimal point, and this is where you have the decimal side. After that, we want to find the place value of these digits. When we talked about whole numbers here, we have said you start with the digit on the far right. 
the whole number. Our decimal has divided our number into two. Therefore, the three is going to be the first digit on the whole number. So it is going to be place value once.